Yeah. 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 All right. In uniform. What's up now? All right. All, All right. right. What's up? What's up? Welcome, man. Welcome. All right. Corey Joseph is here. He's uh, well, he's, he's ready to go. He's a player started. the Warriors acquired in the off season, and uh, I know one of the reasons they acquired him is because he takes care of the ball. Uh, you don't turn it over much. And that was a big problem last year for the Golden State Warriors. And now they got Chris Paul, who takes care of it. And they got you, who takes care of it. Is that something that uh, they talked to you about, that they liked about you? Yeah, of course. Uh, I think, you know, basketball is definitely a possessions game. The more possessions uh, you have attempted at the goal, uh, the better. Uh, obviously, we have a lot of guys that are, are good at, you know, shooting the ball. So, you know, we got to take care of the ball. So that's definitely something that was brought up. Now, you know what it's like to play championship basketball in your career. Last year, you're in Detroit. Safe to say they're kind of rebuilding. Now you're here in Golden State where the aspirations are, you know, championships. Speak to us how excited you are about that opportunity to play meaningful basketball. Very, very excited. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, like you said, it's just the basketball that they play here. Uh, I take a lot of pride in that selfless, you know, mm. basketball, uh, that winning meaningful meaningful basketball uh and i'll just you know look to contribute in any way i can let me ask you about the back i know it's uh you're going to be reevaluated in two weeks anything we, we should be concerned about uh how, how you feeling i feel pretty good obviously you got some you know uh stuff down there that, that's going on but uh it's nothing that you know i feel like i'm concerned about in the long term what was it about golden state that made you want to come here i think just the the characteristics of the organization uh it was kind of similar to my first couple of years with the Spurs, uh, and just the way they are, that selfless basketball, uh, that winning basketball by any means, uh, and that's how I feel like I am, uh, just to do stuff that, you know, contributes to winning. Dude, did you notice uh, Corey said organization? Yeah, no, I, I he's from it. Toronto. Yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah. Right, he's, he's from ready. Toronto, yeah. so he's got that, he's got that uh, <laughs> hockey, uh, hockey, that hockey thing going. L let me ask you this. You guys have yet to practice, but you, you know, you're a veteran. You've been in the league. How long does it take for you to get acclimated with what they're trying to do? Or is that already like, like Jedi stuff? It's mental. It's a, you already know what yeah. your role is going to be and how you feed off these guys. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Whenever you come to a team that's been established, I mean, these, they got guys on this team that's been here for a very long time and played together for a very long time. So it doesn't take long to acclimate, you know, towards that. Uh, you come in and, you know, you, 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 you try to figure out your role and you, and, you, and you play that to the best of your, you know, your ability. Uh, obviously, when you signed here, they didn't have Chris Paul, a uh, Hall of Fame point guard. Uh, did that change the way you felt about your decision? Uh, is that something that was unforeseen and you're thinking, oh, man, I got another guy uh, in the mix? How did you view the signing or the trade of Chris, uh, Chris Paul? I think it's amazing. Uh, you know, whenever you get a chance to learn uh, from guys, I mean, I think this is uh, CP's 19th season. Uh, yeah. And I've been playing against him my whole career. Uh, so whenever you you know get to play with somebody like that, it's 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 an honor, and you, you know you try to learn as much as you can. So it, it was great. So now I don't want to call you the third splash brother. It may happen because I'm looking at your three point percentages the last two years: forty one percent, thirty nine percent last year. You can you can hit it from deep. So uh, you're in a good system. Yeah, for sure. That's the game. Uh, those Flash <laughs> Brothers kind of changed the game t towards that. So uh, I've been working hard uh, on, my, on my shot, and uh, I'm going to continue to let it fly with confidence. Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at your numbers. It, it looks like I, you're getting better at the three-point shot. It looks yeah. like to me the last two years you've taken more than you ever have in any other year, and it was your two highest percentage three-point uh, three years. So is that somewhere? I mean... Yeah. You feel like you're still getting better? Yeah, no, for sure. I'm always getting better, but, you know, that's uh, I've been working hard on that. Uh, like I said, it's just, with me, I always said it's not, it's not about making them, it's about taking them. <laughs> now, look at him. Write that down, Stani. Uh, let me ask you this, because uh, you mentioned your teammate CP3, and, you know, a lot's being made. The Warriors picked him up and, you know, his role. And you've been on different teams is that something verbally you have a sit down with the coach and staff? Like, what do you need me to do? Or does that kind of just manifest on its own? Uh, 
I think a little bit of both. It, mm. it man, you know, when you first get there, it kind of manifests on its own, and he'll have his ideas. And then throughout the, the the season, if you know something is not going either his way or, or your way, you kind of sit down and have that talk. So right mm. now, I think communication. It's at that, right, exactly. Right now, it's at that manifest uh, portion of it. Yeah, I'm looking at the numbers here from the last two years, and I'm looking at. Corey Joseph's got a better three-point percentage than Steph Curry. I don't know if you know this. He only shot 38% last Boy. year. So uh, what, what kind of tricks are you going to teach uh, him from none. beyond the arc? Absolutely none. I'm sure he'll teach me way more tricks than I'll teach him from beyond the arc. Uh, you know, at, at, if you look at attempts, I'm, I'm pretty sure that his 38% uh, with his attempts that he's taken – and it, with the guy, the way they're guarding him is a lot different. <laughs> Look at him. Hey, I hate to focus on the past, but just last year is a perfect example. You've been in the league, and from afar, guys like us, we watch y'all. But uh, we hear how much of a grind an 82-game season is. When you're not playing for nothing, how hard is that? Uh, it's very hard. Uh, but, I mean, I think just in terms of last year, uh, where I was in my career and where the organization was, uh, was just different. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, I think, you know, when when you did play as a player, you're always trying to win games. Mm. But uh, speaking on that, like, for me, it was tough. Uh, we were just in two different uh, places. But, you know, you, you learn a lot from your, uh, about yourself when you're in a position like that. Mm. Uh, so... Every day I woke up, you know, I, I, I approached it with a with, with a good mindset, and uh, you just learn about yourself. So I'm, uh, but with that being said, you know, I'm glad that I'm here, and uh, glad I'm on this team with, with the aspirations that they have. So I'm looking forward. That's to wisdom. It. The uh, yeah, the Warriors a couple years back drafted James Wiseman with a number two pick, and uh, he was uh, came with a lot of acclaim, and. He was a big part of what the future was supposed to be. You played with him after he got traded uh, to Detroit last year. Um, what just what'd you think of James Wiseman and and is he going to emerge at some point? Do you feel like? Yeah, I thought highly of him when he got there. Uh, first practices, the first practice uh, when he played, uh, I was like, dang, like this guy is really, really talented. Uh, obviously, has long arms. Uh, affects the you know shots at the at the rim a lot uh and he's playing very hard so i think he has you know a great opportunity over there with those guys uh you know being at the stage that they're at uh for it gives him some time just to you know learn and and, and be himself and you know play through mistakes uh and i think he'll do really well over there now i know you know when you were on visiting teams you came to the bay area one time when you played sometimes twice but uh how your living arrangement and how do you like the bay area have you have you been here before you know a lot about it yeah i've been here before uh when i was playing for sacramento uh on some of the day offs okay uh, yeah me and my family would, would would sneak down here and, and you know just relax or whatever we've been to alcatraz did that tour before and you know we did a couple of things uh, i'm still getting obviously used to it I've uh, been out here for a little bit while now, actually living here, uh, but I'm excited. You know, it's go. always been great with the mountains, the water, the people. It's been, it's been dope. <laughs> there yeah. you go. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Corey, man, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate really it, appreciate it. Appreciate Best of luck uh, to you and, and good luck on the season, man. Thank you. All right. Good That's stuff, Corey man. Joseph, uh, Golden State Warriors point guard. Played with Detroit last year, signed as a free agent in the off season, and uh one of he's a point of emphasis because the Warriors turned the ball over too much yeah. last year. They absolutely turned the ball over too much, and Corey Joseph is somebody who does not turn the ball over and can shoot it from deep. Can shoot it as from deep. He's getting out. better. <laughs> getting better at uh, yes, shooting sir. from deep. And uh, looking forward to seeing him. No doubt about and, it. And you know me, I love I love Canada, so I'll take a Canadian on, <laughs> he on loves my team. The Bay, though, any any day of the week. Yeah, he so. said mountains and, and to, Alcatraz. Uh, I love it. Thanks to uh, Corey, yeah. Corey Joseph, cool dude, man. You know he's one of the, you know he, he's when I look at a guy like Corey Joseph, there's only one way. Well, first of all, he's a good player, yeah. but the things he has to do to stay in the league are the kind of things that you just know you're going to get from. Like wow. he's, he's a professional. He is a professional basketball player. He knows how to play. He's actually played in big games. Uh, he's played for great coaches. He played for Greg Popovich. 